I'm so sorry for arriving late, but I had a client that needed some extra work done and we just had to finish. So It's still showing waiting on my end. Okay. It's not even showing live. Okay. Okay, no. Still I'm on. showing. Okay, we have again a bit of difficulties because it doesn't show that we're online. Can you see that we're online? We're not online right I now. I mean, it shows me 40 seconds online. Now it's just starting okay. to get into the... Uh... Okay. Showtime, yes. Laura, can you see me? Or my hand? Skipping ahead, there we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Live, yes. Awesome. All right, sorry about that, guys. But again, unexpected. Yeah, uh, so I had a client um, for a pedicure, and then she um, had a gel polish to remove that took longer to remove. You know how that goes. And I really needed it done. So I thought I would be finished for, for 8 o'clock, but I wasn't. Okay, so let me just grab the polishes. And I'm going to be doing this. So in the past, I did the, the 800 or 900, the other one. So today we're going to try this Dior, beautiful. Okay, so very quickly. So last week I did the Chanel with the gel top coat and with the rich filler base coat. And here are the results. And you know, the manicure looked really good, I would say for the, for the week actually. In the normal light, in the daylight, the, 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 what would you call it, the, the, no, the streaking or whatever, the smudges were not as visible. Um, and it actually has a very, very nice color. I have to say, I, I kind of enjoy this manicure, but there was some shrinking. As you can see, there was a little chip here, funny, like around the cuticle. It almost lifted and then just chipped. But there was no chipped here, but there was no chipping on the free edge. These two nails I destroyed today during work. But other than that, it actually lasted pretty good. So, so that's what we did last week. So first of all, hello, hello to the 14 people that are watching us right now. And thank you so much for the four likes. So now we're going to remove the polish very quickly. And, oops. I'm going to do this the way I normally do it. So I'm going to apply it on all the nails and letting it kind of soak. I'm curious who else is doing their manicure as I'm doing the manicure. Let me know who's doing the manicure. Okay, so this should be ready to remove. So what I do is I push down. Ah, okay. Laura is going to do a manicure after me. And now I pull. So you see, it's a nice clean removal. So push down, don't wiggle in. So wh who's new? Because I know there's a lot of people that usually watch me every week, but I'm just wondering if we have any new viewers. Just so I know what to explain, what not to explain. I guess a lot of people are going to be watching it later. See how nice and clean this is? There we go. So now I grab the other side of the pad to remove this. All right. Can you see the shrinkage here? That's what happens sometimes with those thick base, thick top coats. They kind of shrink away from the cuticle. Such we does that as well. Okay, so let's do the other hand. Press down so it sticks. Press down so it sticks. Now I can relax. <laughs> I do my nails. <sighs> Mm -hmm. 
So these ones are still the little pads that I brought from Canada. It actually shrinks like crazy. Yeah. yeah, it does. It's so thick and it just shrinks. It drives me crazy. Mm. Some people, it just doesn't bother them. It bothers me. Well, I know you use that. Um... And I actually bought it again, <laughs> like just recently. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm going to give it another chance. And yeah, it's oops. still did the same thing. Yeah. So press down and kind of pull it down. So press down and pull down or away, right? Away yes. from the nail. All right. So I think I'm gonna do probably two thin coats of the Dior. Mm -hmm. And then the top coat. All right, so now I'm going to grab a little bit of a pure acetone so I can kind of see what's going on with the nails. I like using pure acetone because it kind of shows me where the, the cuticle is, shows me where the nail is. That was the sound of my phone almost flying across the dropping. room. Squeaky clean. Okay, and first, so you see they're not bad at all. Not bad at all. We both noticed that if you don't do a manicure, the nails kind of go more flat, right? Which is weird. Once uh, the, the nails are done, they kind of are more curved. Okay, I'm gonna put my Nova Flare on and shorten the nails to keep them nice and short. So going back and forth is not damaging according to a very good source, Mr. Doug Shun, who actually looked under a microscope to see if that creates the tears that they're talking about. And it doesn't. Hmm. It says what creates the tears is the grit of the file. So if the file is too coarse, that's going to rip the nail, but not the, the back and forth. Yeah. Uh, how do designer polishes differ from regular? You know, sometimes the colors are nicer, but when it comes to the longevity, I really don't see a huge difference, to be honest with you. True. For example, the new Revlon, I'm so impressed with. Yeah. And it's a it's a it's a drugstore brand. It's not expensive whatsoever. The Revlon the Revlon HD something, HD Snap, HD Ultra Snap. Pro something, Pro. No, uh, some, something along those lines. Anyway, it uh, turned out to be a, a fantastic product, yeah. you know, for, a, you know, something that's exceptionally affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, those on a budget will be able to afford that, no no problem. Yeah. Where you have stuff that's in the, the upper realms of, you know, 40 euros kind of thing. and Yeah, like and even with this Dior thing, uh, sorry, with the Chanel, right? Like yeah. it's just went on, like I can apply it, it on someone else much better, but um, I really have hard time applying it oops sorry it's for yourself yep uh when you say pure acetone do you mean a tone polish remover or acetone you no. can buy at the hardware store no either no neither so um nail polish remover contains acetone but usually also contains water sometimes it contains Hi, glycerin uh contains uh, other kind of moisturizing sometimes oils ingredients so that will cover a lot of will hide a lot of the imperfections so cosmetic pure acetone you can get it at, at cosmetic stores usually and it just will say pure acetone mm -hmm. and when you look at the ingredients should be, should be only one ingredient which is pure acetone yeah don't use the hardware one because that one is it's just not as uh, clean so it could have some other impurities impurities yeah in it yeah and sometimes like here in Spain you can get like a very high quality acetone in pharmacy because they use acetone to uh, clean, I guess, the little glasses when they do tests or something like that. So, sure. yeah, so sometimes the acetones can be very, very expensive and very pure. You don't need that purity because obviously we're not like working with microscopes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I mean, 
Um, my sister likes using the pure acetone for prepping the nail because then before applying gel or something because um, it's it does not leave any like residue right on the nails right so she likes it um, I usually go with a prep that's kind of designed with the product but I know that acetone and mixture of acetone and alcohol is good too so some people for prep they make the prep themselves just make sure you use cosmetic grade and they use the 99 percent alcohol uh 75 percent, so three quarters and one quarter of, of acetone makes one hell of a drink <laughs> um laura my cuticles are so much better with pushing back and using oh, oil you see yeah it's the small things that yeah count. it's it makes such a huge difference you know it's almost like you know a good diet or exercise routine gotta be consistent you have to be consistent and you making small adjustments at the time it makes such a huge difference instead of going on like a crazy diet where you starve yourself for two days and then you eat terribly for the rest of the month like you're not gonna have good results right so it's better to make those consistent changes consistency is the key honestly anywhere in life in like any area of, of life consistency is key more important than yep. than sometimes talent or or anything else right yeah yeah you know what hard yeah. work and consistency will usually outwork just about anything yeah so and that's that for that mm -hmm. so as you can see there was like n almost nothing to do and i actually didn't even push back the proximal fold the skin this week because I just didn't because I honestly because I didn't have the stick at home that's why let's blame this lack of stick on my laziness lack of stick lack of stick <laughs> so this I'm holding it in my I guess you need hand. some more stick in your life <laughs> that sounded really really bad. it sounded the way it was meant oh god and you guys can interpret that however you wish So I'll show you how to kind of uh, get rid of this. Sometimes the dry skin with the regular file. Just push it back a little bit. And you know, if you have a lot of stuck skin, just, you know, don't aim for perfection. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Hi, Josh. Glad you could make it. So here's what I do. I take the file, <laughs> kind of push back the skin, place it down and kind of go like this a little bit to get rid of this. The dry lateral skin. Of yeah. Okay, so dryness is one thing. So you you don't want to remove the dryness because the dryness you have to um, correct with proper skincare, right? But if there is like a um, little hard calluses almost, then you can just gently reduce it a little bit and then just use your creams. Because sometimes if there was no really calluses and there was just dryness, like there was this little crack, this is just dryness. And if I try to remove it by filing, what happens is that the skin is going to try to protect itself and it's going to create more callus. So let's not overdo this. Uh -huh. Less is more. Oh, I wanted to ask everybody, since we're doing a nice live and we have 27 people here, 28 people, Oh, wow. uh, what did you guys think of the latest uh, CMD swatch video that we ended up doing? Yeah, we need to do a poll or something. Yeah, I want to kind of get, you know, uh, a quick idea um, what you guys think. Yeah, because it. we did like uh, one nail at a time. It was one nail at a time. There was less banter, less, uh, I guess, educa uh, edutainment as they would call it. Edutainment? Well, it's or... edutainment. Oh, okay. Let me yeah. just grab Education and else. entertainment all in one. And uh, no, I was just curious what uh, some of the OGs and uh, you know regular lives, um, what you guys would think about it. Uh, we had quite a mix of different yeah. opinions amongst the comments section. It seemed like a, a fair. It was like 50-50. 50-50, yeah. And because uh, what we may end up doing is we may start kind of like the like the actual CMD swatch series may be a little more about the product itself. And then the rest of this. And then what we'll do is, you know, a couple of videos, which is a little bit more us being us. 
you know. Yeah, because especially with the nail polish, I, I have to say, I don't think it's possible for us to wait like seven minutes between each nail nail to, oh, to dry holy, it properly. Yeah, holy moly. I don't know how the other no, no. the other YouTubers do it. Not that we're YouTubers, but you know what I mean. We are YouTubers. We are? Yeah. We are content creators. My goodness, I'm always pleased with what you do. Well, that's good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So this is a very, very fine bit. And I'm using it on a very, very low speed. Very, very fine bit on a very, very low speed. Because I just kind of like to get into the little groovies. But and get the skirts out mm -hmm. from underneath my nails. You see how nice? It's so, pretty quiet. Yeah. yeah. I guess people are relaxing. I guess I'm explaining really like everything. That I'm learning something, but also it's entertaining. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Now we definitely try. The idea is to. Yeah, not to bore people to death. Well, you don't like... put a smile on your face. You learn something new, or maybe something that you forgot. Sometimes it's just a nice reminder. Some of the stuff we talk about. Um, you know, that's really the idea. It's just uh, providing good education, entertainment, and uh, you know, that, that's 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 it. Okay, so this nail always I put a lot of pressure on it when I'm working and that's why I always get this little callus. Look how uneven this finger is. Just an uneven yeah, well, finger. Because that's what happens. Body reacts to what we do, right? So if you put a lot of pressure, I used to write a lot as a student because we didn't have computers, you know, because I'm old. Seriously, we didn't have, we did everything by hand. So and I'm not we. that old. We didn't have iPads, we had computers, yeah. but I mean, like I started off with the Commodore 64 and I mean, typing class was a thing, but of that, like everything was done besides that, besides typing class was with a book. Yeah. You wrote your notes. There was no people running around with laptops, you know, being all fancy pants. No, 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 that wasn't a thing. So this you can also do with cuticle remover, definitely. But like I said, I like to working on dry nails and this is it this is my manicure 31 viewers hello everybody thank you for stopping by now i'm just going to smooth the uh the edges a little bit with a fine buffer this is 320 or something mm -hmm. and i'm gonna try to get more of these buffers because they're really, really good. They're very, very fine, but they're not too fine because you don't want something that will make the nail more shiny. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now to the fun part. I'm going to shut this off. Yeah, I can't believe that we're actually working on Labor Day. Oh. Yeesh. Yeah, Always. Labor Day is for for working, for labor. No? Uh, what drill were you just using? The oh, Air MT20. MT20. Which is not available anymore, sadly. Yeah. So I use this prep. It's a mixture of ethyl acetate and some other solvents. I just like I injured it. my right thumb. The cuticle has been bleeding. Is Band Aid and alcohol okay? Yeah. Band Aid and alcohol. Don't overdo it with the alcohol. Well, maybe that's why she injured her thumb in the first place, because she overdid it with the alcohol. But I'm bummed. Oh. But yeah, I mean, you clean it up a little bit, throw a band aid on it, and yeah. you know, a little bit of dirt, walk it off, and you're good to go. Um, I tried cuticle removie, uh, re removie, removie, uh, uh -huh. remover, Sally Hansen, for the first time. I'm yeah. not sure if I did it right or if I don't have a lot of cuticle, but I feel like you didn't remove not a lot head. happened. Yeah, that's fine too. Yeah. Sometimes we don't have a lot of cuticle. Yeah. Um, you have to rinse it, right? Uh, did you rinse the, the nails? With the... Are you talking about yeah, Linda yeah, who not... injured her yes. thumb or are you talking about Jillian? I don't Who's know. talking about the um, cuticle remover. Cuticle remover, yeah. So, so you want to... Yes. So you want to make sure that you rinse it off with... Rinsed well. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. I think I used this one on my toes once. Rinsed well. Okay. I just said that. Mm-hmm. I'm um, just kind of thinking then yeah sometimes there's not a lot of cuticle rinse with just right. water question mark yes 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 mm -hmm. yes something here fluffy okay I think I'm going to do the usual on the leg yeah because I, I really okay let's move this whole shebang Okay, because I really, I, this is how, oops, this is how I, how I polish my nails, like this. Can you guys see? I'm going to move my hand up. Okay, it's beautiful, Dior. Because I have a good angle this way. There's a plug on the floor that looks like a piece of garbage. Oh. Actually, you know what, that plug is for the C and D uh, yeah. lamp, actually. So I'm going to grab just a little bit of the polish as a first coat it's better to do it thin from the what what i'm seeing it looks like you're filming with a potato what you guys can't see no it just looks very fuzzy oh really yeah from here maybe the wi-fi is not the best maybe but yeah it looks like you're filming with a potato Guys, I hope the quality isn't horrible. Let us know. You see, this is so much better. I'm sorry than Chanel. So I've actually heard one of the viewers and then I actually read somewhere that um, people would use like one coat of this and one coat of the, the Neil Glow. And that looks very, very pretty as well. Oh, Laura says it's good. Looks good, okay, okay. The other one smells like it has a smell to it. What's that? This one doesn't. No, the smell of the nail polish. The other Dior mm. had a smell. One of them did. Well, usually they smell. No, but it has like a nice smell. Like cherries or something. I'm just gonna let it dry. It's just like, oh, it's no, this is, oh. it smells like chemicals. It smells like something you would have to get high. Okay. That's for sure. Wow. Whew. Sometimes if you see that there is like... Up the nostrils. I'm gonna push this back. Okay, that's good. So maybe your phone is potato. Okay, now I'm gonna move no, a little bit. No, my bits. phone's not a potato. Okay. This internet's a potato. So, here. <laughs> this is a little bit... Not what are you the doing? nicest setup, but this is how I paint my nails. See? Okay, I'm gonna move the camera in a second. So always make sure you don't touch the the skin. And not the cuticle because you already removed the cuticle, right? Okay, hold on. So I what I do is I place the the brush like further away and then just move it up and then down. I try not to overwork it because that creates smudges, the overworking part. So compared to the other Dior Abricot, this one is a little bit more like peachy, but it's not too peachy. It's not too warm. It's not too beigey. But it's almost like like the bubble bath, but like better. Like better. Uh, do you make your clients remove rings before you work on them? You know what? Not really. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. I see you just fine. Um, I don't, because I kind of I can work with uh, around the rings, and you know because people sometimes forget the rings. I've had that happen. They would leave, and then then some people have very expensive rings so i don't i don't want to be yeah, we've responsible had that happen a few times where people have left their yeah rings like oh crap um, and they put them like under the lamp or something or like on the lamp or yeah. in an area you can't really see well um like i just I, got the new i just got some of the new fall dior colors and a new bottle of top coat i oh. used it once and had 
pretty bad shrinking. Oh, Next no. time I added a couple of drops of thinner and it helped a lot. Yeah, the thinner could be problematic. Yeah, because the thicker, can you not move? Because it's moving the camera. He's like fidgety. Like look yeah. what he's doing. He took the, the grate off and like, um, so I'm gonna wait for this to kind of set a little bit, which it's almost set, just so I don't smudge this, this hand. <laughs> Sit still. Yeah, please. <sighs> don't move. Um, yeah, the, the thinner is problematic because the reason why the finish is very, very shiny is because the nail polish is very thick and it doesn't have a lot of solvents. And the thinner top coats that dry very, very quickly have a lot of solvents, so they evaporate much quicker. And so you kind of are adding some solvents and you don't know if those solvents should be in the nail polish or not. So I usually don't thin polishes out unless they, this is dry, unless they um, say that you can. And I know I've asked OPI and they told me that you can use their thinner to thin out their polish, even the, the um, infinite shine. Mm -hmm. And um, I would just do that once to be honest with you, <laughs> but not too, too, not too many times. Yeah. Hello from Minnesota, this is Sarah. Uh, glad I could make it, how goes the Mammy? The Mammy is going yeah, great. Yeah, it's going much better than the Chanel, yeah. that's for Hope sure. Everything is going well with you on this wonderful Labor Day weekend. Uh, of course, I'm getting told to sit still by Ivana, and then also Laura says to don't move. Yes. Um, I'm so glad I made my chemistry class today. Well, yes. yes. I am currently sitting on my hands, kind of moving back and forth because oh I God, am exceptionally fidgety. Um, and I think it's just more that there's food not too far from me and I'm really hungry. And I wish to eat it. See how nicely this goes on? Mm hmm. So I find that. Polishing pretty slowly is uh, helpful. Mm. Uh, Bo writes, I'm an exclusive C&D shellac user. Cherry apple. Yeah. Literally, it lasts through all the wear and tear I put my nails through. No shrinking. Have you had this experience? I'm shook, she says. Cherry apple uh, shellac or vinyl X? I'm going to say shellac because she says she's yeah. an exclusive CND shellac. Oh, user. okay. Yeah, yeah. Shellac doesn't shrink, really. The polishes usually shrink. <laughs> Mr. Fidgety Salon Life is in the house. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, just gonna let this Each town has just dropped in. Hola, friends. Hola. Uh, do you guys eat different foods now? You live in Spain. What do you both like to eat? Ooh. Oh, can we talk about food? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So because it's so hot, I actually am trying to do like this um, kind of like intermittent fasting. So what I do is I don't eat usually. OK, S Spanish people don't eat huge breakfast. They usually have like my favorite food, like Magdalena, which is by the like way, the croissant. intermittent fasting is not done for weight loss. No, no, it's for health reasons. Right. So um, or just controlling your calories, because I prefer to eat like one bigger meal and then two smaller meals then like three medium meals but anyway and i'm not really hungry in the morning so i usually have like a coffee and a croissant like around 12 o'clock so i usually don't have anything until 12 and at 12 i have like magdalena or a croissant or something like that and then i usually bring to work uh the protein pancakes because they're just healthy and we we eat a lot of like right now the pota uh, potatoes the tomatoes are amazing they're in um, in season and there was this guy that is growing like organic vegetables behind our house and we go there to is there non organic vegetables you know what i mean organic uh, ecolo ecological here they call it anyway so it's like organic no pesticides, whatever else. The guy grows it. He has tomatoes. He has a small hobby farm that yeah. he grows just. And he has chickens. Yeah. And we buy eggs from him and we buy whatever nothing he is, has. Nothing is mass produced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so, no GMO. There's no, you know, like there, it doesn't go through the same process that yeah. most store bought food is done. We are buying it right from. And like literally, the you can pick the, the tomatoes from the, from the plant. Yeah. 
and the eggplants. So we're eating a lot of tomatoes right now. And we try to eat as much um, like in season vegetables as we can. So right now it's all about tomatoes and I love the mozzarella the, 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 in the little baggies. When she says we, she's talking about okay. like her and her sister. Um, yeah. I eat a drastically different... He's a meat eater. He, nuts, he eats enough meat for like um, the whole for, family. So putting all morality aside when it comes to different types okay. of... Okay, can we just stop and just talk about how even this goes on? That's it. That's all I had to say. This was really good. Yeah. So are you talking about your food choices? So as far as food choices, I have not really changed anything from when I was in Canada to here. Um, I tend to suffer from irritable bowel syndrome, so I keep my diet very simple and quite literally I eat uh, about 500 grams of red meat that I split into two meals. Uh, from there I also have between four to 800 grams of uh, yellow potato that I will split into two meals and from there uh, the rest of my dietary budget I will put towards usually something like chicken thigh and um, usually potatoes uh, let you know like later on in the day depending on what I'm doing throughout the day so but uh, pretty simple, simple pretty basic okay, but it I... is uh, very effective yeah and, for you uh, okay so I want to share with you like this really very easy recipe and it's called uh, patatas bravas it's um, basically roasted potatoes and you serve it with um, tomato like paste so basically you sh how would you call it like shred tomatoes and kind of cook them on the frying pan with olive oil and some spice and some herbs and then you pour this over I'm gonna find the recipe and put it in the comment section or I can write a recipe. Oh my God, they're so good. And then the other, you can also mix, make like aioli, which is a, kind of like a mayonnaise with, well, aioli is uh, garlic and, and olive oil, but like mixed. Hi, so Louis. it's like a garlic. Luis, yeah. Luis is here? Oh, yeah. maybe he can talk about the patatas bravas. Well, actually but he should be making dinner. Um, some <laughs> snackies that he said he was supposed to be making. So yeah, I but think the patatas that he needs bravas to are really focus delicious. in on that. Um, but uh, actually, let's just get caught up on a few things here. Uh, yeah. So we have this croissants are seriously special. I totally agree, Jillian, um, as great as they are. Oh God, they're, they are great. Uh, we are big snackers in our house. We stop eating three meals a day and we drop 15 pounds instantly. Is that closer to what you guys do there? I wouldn't say so. We have uh, usually two, three meals a day. It's just that we shift everything more towards the evening, like the back half. And again, I mean, Losing, gaining weight is all about caloric budgets, but I mean, we're yeah. not here for necessarily nutritional advice or education. If anything, if you want to learn more about that, guys like Dr. Mike Isertel, Dr. Lane Norton, I think are probably the best people to I'll learn from. I'll link that below as well. Yeah, so that would be definitely the way I would go. Of course, you didn't ask my advice, therefore I'm not going to give it. Moving but, on. But very quickly, I want to just say that when it comes to losing weight, personally, it's easier for me. Let's say if I have 2,000 calories, I prefer to eat like... 500 in the morning, 500 Potential in the afternoon. Is the best thing ever, yeah. Yes, and then like a thousand at night because I prefer to have one meal that's like more substantial. And more satiating. Yeah, yeah. It's more satiating. Okay, let's try the top coat because this is pretty set. Yes, okay, moving on. I, I eat the way Mr. Salon Senior does, yeah. Um, I like the apricot color. Chlor? Color? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with color. Uh, Spanish tapas are amazing. Yes, they are. Uh, good evening. Good evening. We've already been over that one, so uh, that sounds yummy. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm basically strict keto carnivore to be on track to reverse my type two diabetes. You know what? If this is what helps you with your health yeah. mark with your health markers, and you are doing this. Uh, in a way that's obviously healthy for you, and you have doctor. Uh, involvement and advisement i think that's great um you know what this, this but uh, anyways back to nails back to what we do the best here yeah so this brush is not something that i like right because mm -hmm. it's square but on a like when you're applying something with such a such a light pressure it's actually going on pretty good okay so it's it's quite thick so now i'm gonna let this set a little bit 
close the bottle and you see how much I have to say it's much much smoother than the uh, Chanel oh, now I'm really like wanting to eat the rest of that and this is dry. <laughs> meat and potatoes that I have mm. so I'm gonna let this sit for two minutes okay what else uh, calamaris I love calamaris and chipirones which are like little little calamaris with also with the aioli I absolutely love what else what else do we uh do I like I would say, uh, you like paella. Paella. Mm -hmm. We don't have it often. It's usually like what happens is like when you go out, like you would have to have like at least four people mm -hmm. to order it. So they make it so fresh. Like nice food is the universal off topic. Yeah. You know what? We are huge foodies over here. And the thing is that we're both very, very, very passionate about food, um, nutrition, I don't want to say the word health, but I mean, like when it comes to fitness and, and nutrition, like we're very, very nerdy about that stuff. And we have been for ever in a day so we can get topping, ta uh, talking about that for oh my God. way too long. Okay, let's not forget about Manchego cheese. Oh, man. This is, this is so... the way this conversation is going to go. Yeah, it's such a good cheese. Do you it's... think it's the Dior brush versus the Chanel brush that makes it go on yeah. more smoothly, less streaky? Yeah. Yes, I think so. Could be the formula, but I have to try to maybe put the Chanel in a Dior bottle yeah. with the brush to see. Okay, Manchego cheese is the uh, the sheep cheese. So good. Yeah, well, what's that smoked cheese that... Um... I don't know, it's somewhere from Galicia. Oh. It's like the, Some of the most area of Spain. Yeah, oh, yeah, so good. So good, so good. Okay, he's like eating seriously. Yeah, just so you guys actually see. Oh my god, I, I can't. Kidding. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Come on. Now we get to see just how skilled you really are. Yeah, I know. I did, I did it with my closed. Uh, with yeah, my with your eyes closed. <laughs> with my eyes obstructed. Yeah. Okay, so this is going well. Much, much. I have to say, much less frustrating a lot better than last week yeah muscle memory required yeah <laughs> rude yeah <laughs> yeah like, trying to do a good job on national tv and i'm, I'm showing yeah. everybody like Your food, food porn yeah. yeah okay i applied a little bit too much i think here it's probably will we'll shrink we'll see i'll keep you guys updated mm -hmm. okay Oh, it's applying nice. Everything looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, looks really good. Yeah, I love these kind of manicures. This is what you call redemption from last week when it comes to, yeah. uh, you know, polishing your own nails. Mm -hmm. Trust me, when we were done filming, it was just like, there, there, there was a need for redemption. What was the main reason you guys moved to Spain? If you don't mind answering that question, was it always a dream? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Well, my family lives here, so... And I lived here 15 years ago, and I, and I really missed it. I lived here for a year. Mm -hmm. So, yes. But I would say family is the, the, the biggest thing for me, and the lifestyle. I just missed it a little bit. Like, it's, this I don't is know, my it's job. different. So, <laughs> I had to go where the work was, and <laughs> yeah. uh, that's kind of how it goes. It's like, I'm part of this uh, YouTube shebang, and... Uh, well, the boat was uh, leaving for Spain, so I was like, well, yeah. here we go. Here we go. So I hope that uh, answers yeah. your question. Uh, Sarah, I love the colors you use in your manis. They are very nice. They're very nice. Um, do you speak the Spanish? Um, I do not. Anna, on the other I hand, think she's... He knows probably by now eight words. Uh, hola, ¿qué tal? Bien, gracias. Uh, crema de cacahuetes. Uh, cacahuetes, by itself. Um, uh, un momento. Uh, por favor. Por favor. Cerveza. Cerveza. Um, so that's like caña. ten. That's ten words. At least. Uh, 
Yeah, that's kind of kind of the answer. Kind of the answer. Are there any new Polish uh, brands you have discovered in Spain? Oh, see, yes. Yeah, the, there's that the, one. Thank you, Louis. Yeah. <laughs> Just so everybody's aware, um, Louis, who is in the chat here, is actually um, my nephew and also my uh, swimming teacher and Spanish my teacher. Spanish teacher and my lookout for jellyfish in the uh, in the Let's water. See. Holy cow, they are. Yeah. You want to see someone swim really fast? Yeah, drop a jellyfish near me. Watch what happens. <laughs> there's there's lots of uh, lots of yelling, screaming, swearing, and swimming. He Let sounds me tell you. like Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, have you always been involved in the nail industry for work? Um, I have been involved in the nail industry uh, on and off now for the past uh, about fifteen years, fourteen years. Um. I have had many different hats within the industry, I guess. Um, but I've taken a very big step back from, I guess, the very beginning when I first got in. And I've been just uh, more just background stuff at this point. But, you know, um, I'm passively this, this aware channel thing of what's going on in the world everything. of uh, nails just, you know, through Anna, which is great. Uh, you sound like Speedy Gonzalez. Yes, yes, I suppose I do. Riba, riba. Okay, so I'm going to put some cream on. And this is done. Well, now I'm smelling the nails, but now I'm smelling the cream. But I remember using the, the other one, and it had that smell, like a rosy, rosy smell. I don't know. Maybe once it dries a little bit, I'll let you know. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. It was a... Um... The other one, the rose, maybe... Was it Dior or Chanel that No, no, that? it was the Dior. The other one. Is it that one? Yeah. No, no. It was the other... There's two of the Abricot Dior Lees. Oh. Rich fillers, and one of them... The other Is one that nice, I used... I remember... It. Yeah, it's like a rosy nice smell. smell. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you know what? This is done. I'm impressed. Looks really nice. I like the color. It's soft. Not too white, not too pink, not too... Like, it's really a perfect color. Yeah, it's really nice. Are the seasons the same as America over yeah, there? Yeah, yes. Um, yeah, well, I mean, we have summer, winter, whatever. It's it, the same. I guess it would be comparable to, like, Florida, California, Maybe probably Texas. South Carolina. I don't know. South Carolina. Because you say. get... Uh, like, you do have, like, a winter season here, but it's, like, plus 10, plus 15 during Celsius. the day. Celsius. Celsius. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know what it is. Uh, to be clear. Fahrenheit. And then at night it might drop down to zero Celsius. We'll keep you updated. I'll be, I'll, I'll, be, yeah. I'll be doing videos of how Unless, the weather is. Unless, of course, I brought the winter with me when, you know, yeah. coming from Canada, which I kind of did when I moved to southern Ontario. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> uh, heading into fall season, yes, yes. Yeah, because we're in the same, on the same side of the hemisphere, no? Yeah. In the Unos. north. Unos. We're looking very nice and asked oh. where I got them done. I'm guessing nails is what yeah. that... Yeah, nails? Uh, you don't know? I... No. No? We haven't got that far. Oh, wow. Okay. Louis hasn't taught me that yet. Well, I guess oh. maybe he just taught me just now, so thank you for that. And yes, your nails look amazing. Thank you. I love it. Can't wear it. I honestly, quack, 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 honestly quack. love it. It's like a porcelain look. Yes. So, guys, any yeah, other questions? You should uh, questions know Niels or... in Spanish. Yes, he should know that. I'm shocked. Well, you haven't taught me, so come on, bro. <laughs> What's up? Alrighty, guys. You know what? We are done. We're heading home to a nice dinner made by Louis. Uh, apparently, so uh, well, he said it was more of a snack. Snack, but that's fine. So, so, anyways, guys, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for your patience uh, with the yeah, beginning with of the, the video. We're late. so sorry about that. Um, you know, we'll definitely make sure next week we don't run into that problem yeah. again. Um, hopefully, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank you all so very much for joining us uh, tonight, and we will catch you in the next video. Yep, next live, next video. We'll see you soon. Love you thank guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Ciao.